Welcome back to Catch and Eat. Today we're poke pulling, and we're poke pulling just the way that we used to. We're back on the tide, inside the tide pools looking for eels, rockfish, crabs, you name it. Thanks for joining us, and come along for the ride. All right, everybody, welcome back to the coast. We are poke pulling a new uh, area today. We're looking today for uh, some new uh, some new spots and maybe some bigger fish. Got Louie and Penny with me. You know what's crazy? I used to think that uh, all the gear I took for poke pulling was uh, like gear intensive. I went duck hunting and the thing is about duck hunting is you can't have enough gear. Um, with that having been said, this is my trusty off-road wagon. It is uh, full of our poke pulling paraphernalia. I know some of you guys have uh, wanted to try getting out here yourselves. I say get after it. It's something we've been doing for a long time. Uh, especially good for uh, people who don't have access to a boat. So today, like I said, we're trying a new spot. Let's see how it goes everyone. Well, Okay, so I'm on my way. It took us a little bit longer than usual to set up, but uh, that's how it goes when you're recording, right? So when you're making catch and eat, you gotta do the uh, prep for everything. Um, otherwise you uh, forget stuff. And uh, yeah, so right now it's slow going. I'm actually out on the reef right now as it goes. Um, it looks like it's good habitat. I'm taking my time because I haven't been out here in a while. So because of that, I don't want to slip and turn this uh, trip into a uh, a uh, ride to the uh, what is it to the hospital so we're going slow um, it's super super slippery uh oh Miss Sancho we got something holy crap wow you guys know what that is that my friends is abalone? yep an abalone <gasps> Super know. rare, yeah. Oh. Illegal to take. Uh, really it cool. tastes when you eat one of these, you automatically gain about uh, one year in life, and so uh, that's why they're uh, so hard to get. That's amazing. We'll get Ian over here to uh, identify. Oh, yeah. What kind is it? It's like a pink almost. Like a pink abalone? Yeah. Weird. It's alive. I've only seen blacks. That's why we were uh, we called you over to see what kind yeah. of abalone it was. I think it's a pink, huh? Pink? They're pink? Or the inside is pink? The name is pink and oh. it looks kind of like whitish, which would make me think that it's a pink abalone. Unless it's a white abalone. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they go by color anyways. Well, if any of you know, in the, please leave it in the comments below. That's right. Almost feels like the tide's too low. These ledges are always really cool. This is the guy who taught me poke pulling. So for all you guys out there who are interested in it. Uh, Sandy? It's, it, it ends like on a sheer, oh, okay. Number one, or actually, uh, Ian got a little one earlier. She got the first keeper. That's a good one, baby. Yes. All right. All righty, my friends. We found here a gumboot kite. Oh, there he goes. Then he stepped on it. 
and it's clamping down. So uh, this is the reality of finding a new reef. It's actually super hard to actually find the fish if you don't know where you're, where you're looking. Um, we're going out on a limb and trying something new. And uh, you know, uh, hopefully it'll pay off, but right now it's just super tough. Let's try this hole right here. And it's not a hole. Everything's pretty much filled in, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I wonder if there were, uh, I wonder if there was a recent storm or something. Everything's kind of filled in. Ugh. Okay, I got a ledge right up here. Let's see what happens to this ledge. One-handed fishing, one hand on the camera. Again, I'm on a wall of some sort. See, what I thought was a ledge isn't. It's just, it's very shallow. There's no hole here. And then there's sand in the back. Okay, that's not gonna work, is it? goes <laughs> you got us a little yield but on a day like today we'll take it Big fish right there. Let's see what happens next, huh? Yeah, I lost a very decent fish right there. That sucks. This uh, pink coral and algae is not really my favorite to pull pull. I prefer grass. Areas. So let's go search for better waters, huh? She's doing well way over there. She got uh, a big rockfish and a decent eels already, so we gotta play catch up. He just dropped an eel. If you can get it, I'll have to go over there, but yeah. Let's see if you can get it. I think he lost it. There he goes! By hand! I was gonna say, I think that's the first uh, monkey face grab by hand for, uh, for us. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Alright everybody, I don't know if that's recording. Is it recording? Oh yeah, it is. There. Grabbed it by hand. Monkey face noodling. <laughs> not huge, but on a day like today, where there isn't much, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be picky at all. So we're gonna get some fillets off this guy, cook them up later. I'm gonna bleed them first. <laughs> That'll actually do the trick. Just leave them alone for a little bit in the dive bag so it bleeds out, and uh, it'll be done in a little bit. Got a rock fish here. Hey, dude, that's a nice one for black and yellow. Yeah, it's decent. Very nice. Here you go. Typhoon man is uh, having that right, right in that rock that I poked earlier. Oh, wow. Interesting. Damn, look at that guy. That's actually a really nice fish for, uh, for being wise. They don't get too much bigger than that. Maybe a little bit uh, up the coast, but I mean, I mean, off the coast. Nice one. I'll take the limit of those being wise like that any day. Obviously we're not gonna get a limit today, and that's all right. Yeah, Penny. See the fish, Penny? You tell me where the fish are? Yeah. Good job, man. Sack is filling up, and you know me. I like the black and yellows when they're uh, when they're up on shore here. They eat shore crabs and they get real tasty. Yeah. There's an old video I have where uh, I poke pulled 
after storm two and it sucked and this reminds me like exactly of that there's just no structure to work with nothing there's got to be one somewhere around here this structure looks so good i should have gone to collect uni actually i, I really should go collect uni they, they almost taste better anyways if I don't get anything within the next 30 minutes, I'm going to go collect uni. So what Miss Anchovy is doing is preparing the eels for a method of cleaning how some people clean catfish. Instead of filleting them like I'll suggest later, she's going to skin them. She's going to skin them by first cleaning off the slime and then cutting small slits and removing the skin with pliers so that she can have the chunks of meat in our soup. Uh oh. Uh oh. Showing us up. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm going to end up. I don't think you'll tear it. Uh, those, that leather is pretty strong. Yep. Oh man, he's strong. I think you want to fillet it, baby. So. Oh, 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 broke open a little bit so just cleaned it up a little bit to see what's inside and to be honest it does not look that good it's kind of brown and not orange like we're used to you know um, we usually get the red uni in the stores but since I already opened them just at least have a flavor I mean like that's literally how much I'm getting tiny Tastes like uni. <laughs> Tastes like, I don't know, kind of like you went for a swim. They have five sides to them. And so, just like a starfish or a sea star, like that, um, 
They have five pieces of gonads. People call them eggs, but the male and the female have these guys, so. Uh, try it again. Yeah, it's not bad. A lot of work for that much food. Oh, actually, um, that's really good, actually. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's so sad because it's, it's worse than getting a sample at a Costco. Because <laughs> you kind of want more, and all you get is that right there. <laughs> but, in a way, yeah, and I just tossed that. Um, in a way, you're, uh, I helped the reef a tiny bit. Right, here's the last piece out of this one. Yeah, so I kind of, I'm doing this, I'm cheating on, uh, Miss Anchovy over there, because uh, she's uh, she's busy cooking while I'm here snacking on. Oh, dude, it's good. It's just so small. <laughs> it's probably not worth it. So, uh, fish blood. You just look right there. Uh, if you look right there in the center, it's got five teeth. I don't know if you can see that, but um, they call that structure Aristotle's lantern. And to this day, nobody really knows why they call it that. But um, superficially, you can see that the uh, it's got five teeth. They are um, in the same or similar family, same family as uh, starfish sea stars. They've got five sides to them. But um, yeah, that's your little trivia for the day. on bowls or anything? Yeah. Okay. A little more salt for seasoning. Here you go, Ian. Thank you. There she goes. Sticky rice. Sticky rice. It smells good, dude. Do you approve? Yeah. I wish Good I had coriander. Oh, it's so warm. Oh, it's so warm. Nice, firm, white food. Yeah. Awesome, dude. I wish I had some more spicy. I don't think you, we've even eaten lunch today, huh? Nope. This is the shore lunch. Yep. Yeah. But uh, yeah, everyone, uh, on a cold, actually, um, I guess a typical Central California day, we're out here having a, all right, we're out here having some shore lunch. Thank yeah, you, uh, you all say to Miss Anchovy, who's our, who's now the resident cook. Sticky rice and herb. Oil covered fish. This is awesome, guys. Uh, this can be done with any fish. Bass? Oh. Screw all you anti bass eaters. Alright, everyone, I'm gonna get to eating too. So, uh, as always, thank you for joining us. Um, hope you had some fun. It was a little bit slower than uh, I'm used to, but uh, hey, it's a new spot, so um, next time we'll try like maybe a lower tire or something like that. But who cares? We got a couple of fish. We had some fun. Over this spot. Yeah, not bad. We got like four rockfish and like a couple of eels, so at least we didn't have to eat our squid, right? So, anyways, guys, thank you, uh, and uh, check in with us later. We'll try to poke bowl some more or uh, do other kinds of fishing later.